Hi, this is Paul Hamilton. I'm going to show you some of the new technologies for getting weather information. So we're going to do this in two parts. The first part is going to be in-depth modern websites. The second part is going to be a portable device with aviation applications. So what we're going to do, we're going to start here at weathertofly.com. Now this is the main home page here. We've got the overall weather. We've got a tab here that can uh, find your local weather conditions. A tab here that specifically uh, points you to FAA uh, resources and then we've got other resources here also. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go up here we're going to look at my specific local area weather. So we're going to go to Reno, Nevada. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the links that I put together to uh, look at the weather. So of course you know we got our current surface. So here we have our enhanced surface analysis which gives us our general position of fronts, what's coming, what, do we, what we got here. And that was our current surface analysis. And of course, we look at surface predictions, the uh, FAA surface, and of course, the NOAA seven day. This is kind of interesting because it gives you an animation of what's happening for the surface over seven day period. Next, we've got just our common, ordinary NOAA weather reading. OK, now this shows you generally what we what we've got going, the temperature. Um, here, discussion, the other portion that I find is quite interesting here as we go down to our actual hourly weather forecast and here it shows us our our temperatures our wind expected wind over the days we can go forward and backward a couple days for all these things here okay shows us our relative humidity sky cover as you can see it's not the greatest right now uh, the chance of rain here and also the chance of snow down here so really what we've got is an hourly prediction which is very helpful and it's nice because you can see where it's dark nighttime daytime so as we can see things are going to get quite a bit nicer around thursday with lower winds higher temperatures and no rain and snow and before we get away from our our, our basic uh, noaa reading here we can see our, our radar down here we can hourly forecast here as well as our forecast discussion forecast discussion now this is where the weather people give you their personal description of what the weather's doing now here you can uh, learn quite a bit on how they describe what's going on based on what you've seen plus this helps you really uh, understand uh, the weather and what's going on here in much greater detail so there we have quite a bit of uh, good uh, information here with just your regular uh, weather surface no prediction and i've also got a two-week forecast and i try not to get too excited about uh, long-range forecasts but here we can see how we've got our temperatures going up and we've actually got a bigger spread generally the bigger spread you have in the low to the high the better the weather is going to be uh, for the worst weather, you have uh, smaller spreads of temperature here. But here we can see how the temperature is going to be going up, looking pretty darn good here a week from now, if this is correct. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in here, we're going to look at some detail of the Carson uh, City, Reno, Lake Tahoe. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to click on Slide Mountain Observations. These are actual observations taken at uh, Slide Mountain on top of the mountain, uh, 9,600 feet. Now we can see the red here shows our average wind speed. Our orange here shows our gusts. So we've got our average wind speed, okay, labeled over here on this side, as well as our gust. And the blue is the wind direction. Now this looks a little bit questionable. Here we got our, our wind direction here is 60 degrees, it jumps around quite a bit here. So I would question the direction here. But as we can see, we can see we got wind coming up, wind going down. We got our time of day down here going up and now we can see how it's been climbing significantly right here lately for basically 60 to 70 uh, as our readings right here so here this shows us our trend of what it's actually doing here we have another calibration however uh, i think our direction here would be questionable but we have actual data on top of the mountain showing our trends and here we're going to be getting to one of the most important, our winds aloft. Now we've got our forecasting tables, which 
we've been using for many years those are those are nice but here we've got our graphic now this is really handy I usually since I fly at uh, 4,700 up to 10,000 feet I usually go with 9,000 feet and we can see here that right now notice that are in this area here this whole area here at 9,000 feet the winds aloft are below 15 we can see the light blue is when we get into 15 to 20 the darker blue 20 to 30 and of course we go up so we can see how the this whole area here at, at this point is pretty good as far as our winds aloft and what's nice what's nice about this is it does show you generally what it's going to be doing the other nice thing here is that we can generally click forward here let's see what let's see what tomorrow looks like okay Saturday Sunday 1800 Zulu okay now we can see how things have deteriorated here a little bit now uh, where where we are here we're still looking at, at pretty good winds aloft here below 15 at 9,000 but we can see how that may be deteriorating here a little bit so let's go let's go ahead another now oh, let's go up here to Monday now we can see how M Monday here is showing at 9,000 here is showing between 20 and 30 okay we're almost getting to the 30 to 40 uh, right here in this area this is where um, I fly so generally here this gives you a pretty good idea of the winds aloft graphically showing you where they are of course where the jet stream would be going here we can we can actually look at the jet stream if we want to I'll go up to say 30,000 feet and this shows at 30,000 feet where our winds aloft is so the weatherman would draw you your jet stream probably right here with another one down here so maybe he would have this one go up here it depends on what mood he's in and how he would want to draw that line on the screen so here, here we have a nice graphical representation of your winds aloft and generally for your winds aloft you would want to look at say three or six thousand feet above where you're flying so what we're going to look at here this is a, a brand new well, I shouldn't say brand new but relatively new uh, windy.com this is really uh, one of the premier new sites for looking at what we got for our winds and we can notice how it shows our our winds here down here we can actually go forward to look at our surface winds how those might be in the future and of course right down here we can see that uh, we've got our knots you know on the ground right here which would correlate to our our winds here the other nice thing here is we can also go up in altitude right now we're looking at our winds on the surface so if we want to bring this up we can also look at our winds at say oh let's say flight level 10,000 feet okay and again we've got a nice visual view here showing our winds at 10,000 feet for our uh, time period here we can change that time period see what we got here we can see our winds 30 to 40 at uh, say 10,000 right around here at a nice visual representation so this is handy because we can get our different times a day predictions into the future as well as our altitude very handy this has been very popular with pilots now another new and handy observation is now we can get uh, highway observations all those wind indicators and measurement devices you can see now you probably have these highway observations available for you but here we can see all the different uh, stations on the highway our wind speed direction and gusts now these are up to date so you can see what's happening you know right here and now this is very handy depending on where you're going and what you're doing we can see 12 gusting to 18 uh, I know that this Galena Creek bridge is somewhat indicative around 5,000 feet 
uh, generally Washoe Valley 12 to 18 so it's not looking uh, you know the best out here right now and we can see all the different readings and all the different areas another tool we have for looking at the actual observations out there okay now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down and we're gonna look at uh, we just looked at our Nevada highway observation we're gonna look at our local surface wind map now this is even this includes the highway observations plus other observations so it's actually a little more complete zoom in here a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here we're going to overlays we're going to go down to our observations here and we're going to go we're going to instead of the density we're going to click all so we can get all of our readings and of course we got more readings that we need right here so we're going to zoom in here a little bit better And again, we can see a lot of our our uh, actual readings. Let's get rid of our temperature to, so that that doesn't confuse us here. But we got our wind direction and our gust for for almost all the wind reading locations here. So we can see it's kind of out of it's it's all around. It's less than five. And of course, when you go go here, you can see the the details of each one here. Again, we've got our highway ones here. And we've got a number of other readings here from NOAA. Here we have a lot more information on actual observations. These are not predictions, observations. This is what's happening right now. Very handy. For all these weather predictions, they send a weather balloon up. So we're going to look at the weather balloon. They call these the weather balloon soundings. So here we, there's not a direct link to this, but we go in, we select our, our closest time select that and then we go in here then we have to actually select on the station these are all the stations that give the sounding so we're going to on our station right here okay now of course we can see this this starts at our surface here 15 16 meters of course they got this in meters and these are in pressure 700 millibars that that ends up being about 9,500 feet but we can see here we've got our our wind indicators over here so we can see at the surface is hardly anything um, and here at, at this altitude, as we go up, we can see we got uh, a 15 out of the southwest. Here we got 20 out of the southwest working our way on, on up. So we've got our wind direction right here. Also, what we have here is we can see that, that, that these, li these lines going up here that are typical adiabatic lapse rate. And we can see here that our red is our temperature drop with altitude. Now we can see our temperature drop with altitude is it's not drop the temperature is not dropping as much per altitude. So that means we've basically got a stable situation here. Okay, the red is your temperature as you're going up. This is going to give you as we looked in the the weather to fly video itself. This is showing how stable or unstable the air is. Here we can see it's going to be more stable because it is not, if it was falling at, 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 at this rate here on these lines, it would be two degrees per thousand feet. Here we can see it's, it's less than that. So it's basically a stable environment here. So again, we have an actual wind check right here to help calibrate some of our other wind observations. And again, 8,500 is 4,400 feet, and we have 700 millibars is 9,500. So we can see that this is kind of the range that, that I work with here. Of course, the surface starts at a little over 4,400 because it starts in Reno. So here's your soundings from the weather balloon. One other thing we have for our weather balloon observations, this is where from soar, uh, soarforecast.com. Okay, now here with the SOAR forecast, what they do here is they, uh, again, they've, we've got our altitude going up here, and we've got our adiabatic lapse rate right here. This is your two degrees per thousand feet, and we can see that our temperature is a little more stable than normal here. But again, we've got some some winds here, 6,000, they're saying 270 at 4, 7,000, 250 at 14. We can kind of go up here and, and, and use this to help calibrate our other observations here. So this is also uh, handy as far as looking at the weather balloon observations. Uh, we're gonna look at our local weather observation. And here we've actually got our enhanced radar image here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to, instead of base, we're gonna go to compose, we're gonna do loop. And we're gonna have to go to our standard version here. And what we can see here 
on our radar is what direction the clouds are actually moving. So if we were trying to, okay, so here we are. If we we're trying to predict if we're going to go out right now, go around the pattern or whatever, we could look here and we could see if anything, we can see it's generally moving this way. We can see if anything's moving this way here. Go to the enhanced version. I kind of like that better, but it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't loop for me. So we've got to go to the standard version. You can get th this uh, radar cloud movement in a number, a number of different applications here. We'll look at that here in a minute. Okay, so we've gone over a lot of the major links here. There's, there's some more down here, but I'm not going to do that. You can look at those if you want to. So essentially what we've done here, we've gone over the specific local area weather. These are the, these are the links that I have personally gone through, put together for our area here. Now, if you're going to want to find similar links for you, you're going to have to go back in here, look at the overall weather, find local conditions. You've got your FAA. You're going to have to kind of search through here and figure out your own links for all your local weather or weather where you're going to be flying to.